Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm actually about 20 minutes due south of downtown Louisville in Mount Washington, Kentucky, to do a walk around on this beautiful 2023 Coachman Leprechaun 260 DS Double Slide Class C Gas Motorhome. Overall exterior length is going to be right at 27 feet 5 inches, and the exterior height to the top of the AC unit is going to be right at 10 feet 11 inches. Coach has uh, just uh, right around 6,600 miles on it. It's a one owner coach. The only reason why the owner is selling it is uh, they're wanting to downsize to a class, to a little travel trailer. And then I think after that they'll be done. But, uh, but yeah, overall condition, uh, it's in great condition. Uh, there's one little thing that I do want to point out in the beginning of the video. Uh, this little piece of particle board, it's a service panel, uh, probably for something underneath or maybe the slide out. But this particle board service panel is it had moisture and it's more than likely because of the refrigerator condensation when you turn off the refrigerator. The owner says he usually puts towels down in the refrigerator. Um, but anyway, it's a common problem sometimes if you don't prep up the refrigerator after turning it off. But uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with the floor. It's just boards warped and uh, easy fix for me. It's a non-issue, but I do find it very important to point that out. Can I give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started? All right, it's a double slide camper. Uh, first slide that's going to start from the pantry all the way to the basically the back of the pilot seat, and this is a 12 volt refrigerator. I believe it's. 12 cubic foot I'm sorry 10 cubic foot and it's a GE 12 volt whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power you're good to go and you have a battery or it runs off the generator and it's stainless steel finish no dinks or anything like that nice pantry you got to show off the pantries jackknife sleeper sofa the back and bottom lay down like a futon uh, there's absolutely on the inside uh, as far as the fabrics nothing at all wrong with it no stains no wear no tear these are uh, these do have seat belts the when the back and the bottom come down it looks like it's been rubbing up against this wood right here little furniture marker take care of that non-issue for me up in the cab over loft area you can sleep definitely two adults comfortably up here it's rated at 800 pounds Got little reader lights up there. Nice cargo netting. Let's take that down for a second. There you go. And this all unhooks. I believe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Nope, it's it's screwed in there. But if you want to take it off, it's just Phillips head screws. Anyway. 32 inch flat screen TV on a pivoting arm and you do have a reader light back there just like that one right there Fantastic vent fan. They don't give those away. I always say that was probably more than likely an option And of course you can take this Stow it away so you can get it in and out of the cockpit area without bumping your head. I'll show the cockpit towards the end This is the J lounge and this does make into a pretty decent sized bed definitely for one adult, but if you want to squeeze two kiddos instead, uh, you can do that and you just pull this portion out. I'm one-handed here. There we go. And then, let me back up here. There's a cushion you put right here. You take this pole, twist it, take this knob, unscrew it, and collapse this down, lay the pole wherever, put it outside in storage. And this portion of the table lays on the lip here and then you position the pads accordingly or cushions and I would say definitely uh, one adult maybe two adults they'd have to be some small adults let's put that back in 110 outlet right there and you do have storage up underneath the bed here I mean that's a big storage Stainless steel finish on all your appliances. Convection oven. 
three burner gas cooktop and you got a glass lid for more counter space magic chef oven let's turn this on there we go looks like it's never been used power tower yeah USB hookup 110 I like those they should have done those a long time ago lots of storage on this 27 and a half foot floor plan again I'm gonna try to show you everything when I get ready to go outside I'll show you the kind of a central command area right there I'll show this when I'm getting ready to go outside. Back in the bedroom, it's a queen bed, and that's the second slide out. You got 12 volt hookups right there, USB hookups, 110 outlet on that side of the bed. Let's see if you got one over here. So you got 110 outlet on one side of the bed, and I'm one handed. Yeah, this bed does not lift up. So when the bed comes in, the slide out comes in, this bed comes up like this and meets right up to the wall right here. But you can still get in and out to the bathroom if you're going on a trip. So that's always a big question. Another fantastic vent fan. Glass enclosed shower. In this class of uh, Class C motorhome, uh, you, sometimes you'll just find a curtain. Nice skylight. And you do have a foot flush porcelain toilet, not a plastic, which you might find in some other manufacturers' lines. I do check all coaches for water damage, other than that little panel that I showed you. That was the only maybe a concern to somebody if they're looking for something 100% excellent. But uh, it's a pretty easy fix. Lean back here. 110 outlet there, nice shelf there, maybe for putting phones and odds and ends. Uh, that's where you'll put your TV, and you got cable hookup right there. You are ducted AC, ducted heat all throughout. Central command here, you got uh, uh, your water pump switch, little light that tells you that it's on. That's nice, I like that. Uh, it's going to be a six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power you'll have hot water within 10-15 minutes and you do have tank heaters on this that was an option so you can go into colder weather without worrying about your holding tanks freezing up Wi-Fi extender on it there's your Wi-Fi extender right there generator start and stop button it looks like 12 hours on the generator slide button one and two that's easy to figure out lp tank i think is 68 pound lp tank battery fully charged freshwater tank is 50 gallon uh black tank oh gosh i forgot i think it's 31 gallon and your gray tank which is your sink and your shower i believe that's 31 gallon too we don't have the ac on so i'm not putting a load on the generator so let's just go ahead and turn the, AC, the generator off so I'm not screaming when I get outside. It does have a 4,000 Onan gasoline generator. That's cool. Okay, that's USB charging. And that, if I remember right, that's going to be an HDMI to hook up like a DVD player or whatever for the TV. And I guess you would just put your whatever, your device right here and plug it into that to play on your TV. Oh, you got roller blinds. In 2023, they were putting the accordion blinds, and I actually made a video on a 2022 model to stay away. Well, I'm sorry, why? Ask them why they put accordion blinds. This is a 2023, and they do have the roller blinds. So that's nice. Oh, window treatments. That's nice. And there is absolutely no wear on any of the cushions or anything like that. All right. Oh, forgot the AC. It's probably going to be a 13,000, I'm sorry, a 15,000 BTU AC unit with heat pump. And there's quick dump. Does the quick dump, once you get the coach cooled off after a couple of minutes, close that off. Ducted AC all throughout. 
All right, you get the idea. Thermostat controls right here, light switches. All right. This is going to be your converter and breaker box breakers. If you trip any breakers, they're all right here. And you've got a patio light switch here, a cargo light switch. I've got all this stuff on. Entry door light switch, uh, compartment light switch, cap light switch. So I've got the cap, front cap, I've got that lit up. Uh, awning button, there's an 18 foot awning. Battery disconnect, shut this off when you're winterized and uh, you won't drain your battery. Uh, all right. This is that Asdell fiberglass finish and basically it won't bubble, won't delaminate. Uh, which uh, delamination is usually caused by water damage and you'll see the old older class seeds with bubbles going down the wall side walls and on the front and that's because uh, of water damage but you cannot get delamination on the Asdell composite fiberglass and that color is bled all the way through it looks like a full body paint but that's the color of the fiberglass and you scratch it and it's bled all the way through these are decals all the decals are in excellent condition if you watch any of my videos i always talk about looking at the points of the decals the owners have not had this thing covered but i can tell it's been pretty well maintained uh, there's no fading or anything on the decals kind of give you an idea and i always say i love the coachman uh looking for signs of uh, wear and tear on the decals because uh, uh, coachman's uh, dog tail it's pointy and that will be the first to curl up and the feet too a little point on the C on coachman on that badging there's your coachman badge it looks clean 80% tint on the windows 18 foot awning it's it's power awning but it's dirty and the owner knows it I told him soft scrub of bleach usually is the old school way to do it uh, it should clean up pretty good but he has not cleaned it kind of put a rush on this because he called me uh, two days ago and uh, anyway he, he did I kind of helped him to get it ready today that beautiful front cap nice windshield and that's a front cap it keeps eliminates any chance of water coming in and it's lit up it's got the little LED lights right there on each side going up right there yeah it's the E450 Ford chassis with the 7.3 liter Godzilla engine, gasoline engine. Uh, it's the most popular engine they have right now. TV hookups. Looks like you got a little bit of storage up underneath there, but you can mount your TV there if you want. Nice little 19 inch storage compartment here. And they got it loaded down pretty good uh, this does have the super spring set up which most of them have been doing for a while now it just beefs up the suspension uh, so you can load this down without squatting it and they've got it loaded down pretty good but if I can it's it's it goes in about probably two and a half feet three feet gas grill hook up here LP. Yep. Oh, the sun's going to get me. Yep. It does have the backup camera package and the side view camera package. I forgot to show that uh, spare tire with carrier. And you do have the cross flex roof system on top. It's more durable than just your traditional rubber roof. Ladder to get up on your roof. That's nice. And your hitch on the back. It's rated at 7,500 pounds, but I always say check and see what you're c carrying because uh, you've got about 3,000 pound cargo carrying capacity on this. I think actually a little bit more than that. Uh, but, you know, just kind of figure out what you're loaded down with and then figure out. I'd, I'd say 5,000 pounds, you're safe on it, uh, towing cap capability. But you are uh, rated at 7,500 on the hitch outside shower hot and cold running water and this is going to be your potable water fill gravity fill for the freshwater holding tank which is a 50 gallon fuel station on this 55 gallon gas tank on this get ahead of myself almost forgot the huge garage storage in the back and i'm, I'm not going to show you but there's a door in the back there i won't open it but i'll show you this is the large garage storage and this is all up underneath the bed huge amount of storage 
and there's your compartment door for the back. LED brake lights, LED lights actually all throughout the coach. Tires are in excellent condition. This is going to be your 30 amp power cord. Uh, cable hook up here, and I've already shown that. And this is going to be your service panel for the refrigerator. Let's see here. LP tank, yeah. 68 pound LP tank on that. And while I'm showing it, show off the tires. Again, they're just a little bit over 6,600 miles, so the tires are showroom, pretty much excellent condition. They're hand cooks, 16, yeah, 16s, yeah. Storage up underneath there. And this is gonna be your Onan generator, which is a 4,000 Onan gasoline. There she is. Back up here. Does have the slide out awning package. I'd say for a 2023 model, it's pretty much fully loaded. Uh, I, I forgot to point it out in the beginning of the video. Simulator fell off. Uh, the owners have already purchased another one the other day. That's a non-issue. The new simulator will be put on, but uh, it fell off while they were traveling in Tennessee, I believe he told me. Side view camera here, and again, one on the other side, and let's show off the cockpit. Nice running boards. That may have been an option, because they don't usually give those away. All right, show off the key fob. There you go. Six thousand six hundred fifty-eight miles. Yeah. Carbon fiber on the dash, which is nice, nice accenting. Looks like you got the Bose stereo, it's got Bluetooth, it's got all the good stuff, it's got the apps. And this is your backup camera too, and your side cameras when you activate the side turn signals. Nice carbon fiber there. Looks like you got USB, USB-C charging station here, and 12 volt, yeah, 12 volt there. And it looks like you got another USB charging over there for the co-pilot seat. That's your HVAC controls. Nice Ford badge there again, 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. You got the uh, carbon fiber finish on the doors there too. And uh, let me turn this off. Everything's good, no check engine light, nothing like that. That's what you want. Uh, let's take this key, put it right there. And the owners do have um, weather tech floor mats for the pilot and co-pilot seat oh got a little dirt on there everything's in in great condition uh excellent condition really other than the two areas i showed you and that piece of wood it's a common problem with people if they don't something near the refrigerator especially underneath the refrigerator if you don't prep it up when you turn off the coach she looks good it's ready to go all right, if you want to come and see the coach, call the number on the ad. You always deal directly with the owner. And if uh, you like this video, I'd appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.